And that's how we end the week, the same way we started. Aurora High School students shot just feet away from their school. On Monday, six students were shot while at Nome Park next to Aurora Central High School. Today, three students were shot while in the parking lot at Hinkley High. A cell phone video sent to Denver 7 captures the moments the shots rang out. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. 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 It's just so frightening. Aurora police say it all began with a fight and then somehow gunfire and all three students shot today are expected to survive. But tonight, the Aurora community is once again looking for answers amid a crisis of violence. So let's get right to tonight's team coverage. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn spoke with parents reacting to the chief's plea for parents and the community to get involved before it's too late. First to Denver 7's Bayon Wang, live in Aurora with the latest on the investigation. Bayon? Yeah, hey Shannon, we're actually just learning right now that one of the three students who were shot here in the school's parking lot have been released from the hospital and as we speak they're being questioned at APD headquarters. We've also learned the ages of all three students who were shot here in the school's parking lot. One of them a student at Avenue, uh, Aurora Avenues, they're 16 years old. The other two, a teenage boy, a teenage girl, students here and just 17 years old. So as of right now, we have one victim. Another violent day at an Aurora High School. Send me one more ambulance. This time at Hinkley High School. Students there frantic after gunshots erupted in the school parking lot during lunch. Everyone started panicking and they all, everyone started running in the back. And I was obviously like really scared. One student barricading herself in the bathroom with three other students for more than an hour while the school was on lockdown. I called my mom. She was telling me I was going out on the news, make sure I was okay. Police Chief Vanessa Wilson says the shooting all unfolded following an altercation between several students. There was a fight that started in this uh, parking lot and then it went into a shooting. As students ran for their lives, a heroic security guard jumped into action. We did have an APS security officer heroically return fire and then also apply a tourniquet to one of the students that was hit. All three students shot have non-life threatening injuries. Two of them went to Hinkley High School, a third a student at APS Avenues. This comes just days after six students were shot in a drive-by shooting at a park near Aurora Central High School on Monday. All six of those victims were students as well. It's getting out of control. Pastor Kevin Hasnack was promising unity at a peace march held for those six students who were shot. And so I left that, that gathering to rush over here to uh, help people as they're trying to pick up their kids after another shooting. And just when will the next shooting be? That's the exact question a few parents uttered to us as they were here picking up their students, pointing out to all the youth violence they've seen right here in Aurora this year. In the meantime, APD is going to be investigating whether today's shooting here at Hinkley High School is related to Monday shooting near Aurora Central High. We're reporting in Aurora. Bye, I'm Wang, Denver 7. All right, bye, thank you. And this afternoon, I talked with Aurora's mayor, Mike Kaufman, who said he was on his way to that peace rally when this new shooting happened. And I asked him what can be done about this youth violence. Aside from being sad, aside from being upset, aside from thoughts and prayers, what is, is there any actionable action that you or anybody in the city can do to, to stop this? We really need to assemble local leaders, but both at the municipal and state level uh, and, and, all, and all the stakeholders to have educators, to have faith leaders uh, uh, in, involved in trying to navigate a path forward. Aurora City Manager Jim Twombly also calling for action from the community tonight, saying it's the responsibility of all community members and stakeholders to invest in the safety of our youth. So one week, two shootings, nine high school students wounded. And now a frustrated police chief, Vanessa Wilson, is begging parents to step up and steer their kids away from violence. These are our kids that are shooting one another. We have disrespect and no concern for life whatsoever. I need the parents to get involved. I need you checking phones. I need you checking rooms. I need you checking cars and make sure that they're taking these guns away from these kids. And this week's violence has parents questioning whether their kids are safe at Aurora schools. And today, Denver 7's Russell Haythorn hearing from parents who agree they need to be part of the solution. Ashley Garcia has a lot riding on Aurora schools being a safe space. Oh. Huh. 
have a high schooler, Hinkley, uh, East Middle School, and my two daughters go to Alcart Elementary. But lately, she questions their safety. In fact, she didn't send her son, Ricky, today. I didn't want to send him. And good thing I didn't send him today. You know, school should be a good environment where you're supposed to go and you're supposed to learn. You're not supposed to have to worry about your life all day long. People are ugly. It's certainly been ugly lately. Just look at the APD's recent Twitter feed. Officers are investigating a shooting by Dillard's. Officers investigating a shooting. 20-year-old male transported. 18-year-old transported to hospital. Tragically, he later died. You have to worry about them walking out the door every day. We were out on the playground with a, a class of kids when we heard about it. Um, so it felt very real. Jennifer Stray is a school social worker and a new mom whose daughter will one day go to school in Aurora. I'm very nervous for when that day comes. Um, and I'm also hopeful that we have systems in place, especially in Aurora Public Schools, that, that support our youngest learners um, and all learners. She says it's absolutely critical for parents to be involved in their kids' lives. We need to be in our kids' lives and support them and hear how they're feeling and, um, you know, just make sure they feel safe and heard. Garcia says it's time to end the violence. It needs to stop. Gang violence and the guns needs to stop already, man. You know, it's, it's just getting old. Today's shooting happened during what was supposed to be a peace march today. Now it's turning into a call for action. Senate Democrats tweeting today that Senator Rhonda Fields, who lost her own son to gun violence, will host a community meeting next Monday at 4. At Hinckley High School, Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. Russell, thank you. And the crime team investigating the Hinckley shooting is also investigating the Aurora Central shooting from Monday. Police are not ruling out a connection between the two shootings. They are also looking for this car. It's a black Chrysler 300 connected to Monday's shooting. So anyone who recognizes this vehicle should reach out to Metro Denver Crime Stoppers. You can stay anonymous. And you can trust Denver 7 to have the newest developments in these investigations. You can find all of our coverage right now at thedenverchannel.com.